Shalom, shalom, shalom everybody around the world. Jerusalem Jane coming to you on a Friday where the temperature actually dropped down to around 20, 21 Celsius and uh, it's a bit clouded here in Jerusalem. I just wanted to make this video to give a big shout out and say thank you to Breaking Israel News for writing an article about me. They reached out to me and they said um, they have wrote about me before about the threats I received after uh, the incidents on the Temple Mount and Hamas sharing my videos and all of the threats and now they said we would like to do an article about your background. Uh, how did a small town Danish girl become Jerusalem Jane? And I said, well, that's, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. And I got to say, I think they did a really, really good job in sharing about going all the way back to my roots, to my grandparents, things that happened to me in Denmark, coming to Israel for the first time, connecting with the Jewish people, walking in the land of the Bible, uh, standing up for Israel against Yeti Arafat when he was invited to the Danish parliament and many different encounters and God directing my steps for me to step out, sell everything I had in Denmark and say, uh, I don't have answer to anything, but I know God is telling me to go to Israel. So I came here stepping out in faith and uh, I shared that article yesterday and thank you for all the love and comments and likes from all of you wonderful people around the world. Some of the things in that article I have not shared before, so it was a brand new for me, but I think they did a really good job and I, uh, I will attach the link uh, when I post this video for all of you who missed the article and if you don't mind just please share it out. So thank you Breaking Israel News. As you all heard, after having uh, 400 rockets pounding down on Israel in 48 hours, uh, <clears throat> the European Union, not the European Union, the United Nations and Egypt was working really, really hard to try and broke a ceasefire between Is Islamic Jihad and Israel. They did, and that came into effect uh, yesterday. And just briefly after that, some rockets were flying in. Israel choose not to do anything, but then again, uh, later last night, uh, more rockets came. So overnight, Israeli aircraft, Israeli fighter jets bombed Islamic Jihad targeters inside the Gaza Strip. They hit them where they are manufacturing weapons and they took out a command center where some of the leaders of Jihad, Islamic Jihad was uh, <clears throat> meeting. So thank you. Israeli Air Force, thank you Israeli Defense Forces for doing what is need to be done. You have to remember these terrorists inside of the Gaza Strip, they are firing rockets into Israel to kill civilians. Um, Israel had to evacuate some of the babies in some of the hospitals. Women were giving birth in bomb shelters. People who have their wedding planned had to have a wedding in a bomb shelter. This has been the reality for the people living on the other side of the Gaza fence because terrorists inside of Israel are targeted civilians, grandmothers, babies, children inside of Israel, which has been absolutely horrifying. We have all seen the videos of people running for shelter sometimes. They don't even have 10 seconds. So when all of this is going on, we need to stand up for the Jewish people, for their right to self-defense, for their right to live <clears throat> excuse me, to, to live in safety here in Israel, like you would want to live in safety whether you are in Russia or you are in Sweden or Australia or you are sitting in China. Israel, the Jewish people here in Israel have a right to defend themselves, to live in, in, in safety. So we're going to see what's going to happen, uh, if this ceasefire is going to hold. Uh, it's been 14 hours since the last rockets were fired here into Israel. So we are doing like this, we are doing like this, we are looking up to the God who neither slumber nor sleeps, the one who watches over Israel. So keep praying for Israel. And again, every Friday we still have these massive riots on the border between Gaza and Israel. Hamas is, uh, is paying people to go to the fence and to demonstrate against Israel. We have seen some of the tools when they're trying to break through and sometimes they literally break through the fences. 
before they run back into the Gaza Strip. So if there wasn't an Israeli defense forces protecting that border, I mean, the Jewish communities just two or three hundred meters on the other side would literally be lynched, stormed by all of these terrorists. So thank you, Israeli Defense Forces, the Navy, the Air Force, everybody. We love you. We love you. We salute you. We praise you for putting your lives on the line 24-7, 365 in protecting us here in Israel. And we want you to know you are not alone. We support you every single step of the way. Thank you to all the wonderful Christians around the world and all the people around the world who love Israel. Thank you for getting active for such a time as this, for standing in the gap for the Jewish people. Jerusalem Jane signing off here from Jerusalem. Mwah. I love you. I have my bracelets. One is saying thank you IDF and the other one, let me show you, it is saying friend of Zion. That's me. Thank you, IDF. We love you. We love you. We love you. God bless you. We pray protection over you. Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem. Jane, thank you for your likes, your shares, and comment this past week. More than 3,200 people has liked my Facebook page called Israel One Nation. I love all of my followers, whether it's on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, United. We are making a difference for Israel. Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye.